fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. Here he comes. enough trouble with the homesteaders to live around here without them bringing reinforcements in. Bo, you should let me finish them off. You ought to know by now, Gov. Dead men tell no tales. I want that man alive and talking. In fact, the more he talks, the better it is for us. Oh, so he can spread the word to the other homesteaders about the engine attack and all? Exactly. Bo, I sure got to hand it to you. You don't let any grass grow under your feet. It's the grass growing under the homesteaders' feet I'm thinking about. Grass I could use to fatten my cattle, and I aim to get it. Every acre of it. Well, how much longer do you think they'll hold out? Well, they're pretty stubborn. <clears throat> they'll break down, though. It's just a matter of getting them sufficiently primed. Primed? Sure. We keep giving them the redskin work over Garth. They're bound to break. They'll either pull out or they'll start a fracas with the local Indians. Yeah, but uh, if that happens, Bo, won't the government step in? <laughs> Go to the head of the class, son. <laughs> Look, Garth, the government doesn't want any trouble with those Indians. In fact, They'd do anything to keep the peace, just anything. Oh, I get it. If the government thinks the homesteaders are stirring up trouble with the engines, they're evoked to the land grant. Mm-hmm. And sell the valley property to some responsible rancher. Such as, uh, Bo Slate. <laughs> <laughs> You've just graduated, son. Come on, let's ride. Closer, mister. I may be no Davy Crockett, but at this range, I couldn't miss. You don't need the gun. I'm a friend. I mean no harm. I'd be easier convinced of that if you took off the mask. You'll have to take my word for it. This mask is on the side of the law. I never heard of nobody wearing a mask who didn't have something to hide. I'm warning you, mister. But you're hurt. You need attention. I have some medical supplies in my saddlebag. I told you. My wife's brother, Regis, kept writing us about how good it was out here in Pine Valley, so finally I tossed some things into the buckboard and left Virginia and headed west. You intended to bring your wife out later? Yes. But what's the good of trying to make a home out here when a man is always plagued by a pack of heathen redskins? Tom, are you certain the men who ambushed you were Indians? Mister, I ought to know an Indian when I see one. Why, they're all decked out in feathers and paint they were. Just doesn't add up somehow. What doesn't add up? I've been noticing those tracks. Well, what about them? White men shoe their horses. Indians don't. And yet there's the unmistakable imprints of horseshoes. Tom, it's hard to believe. Well, you can believe it all right. Regis wrote that the Indians are an ordinary lot. I've heard recent rumors there's been trouble between the homesteaders and the Indians. Sure. You see, Pine Valley used to be the pet stomping ground of the local tribe. But now, due to federal decree, it's available for homesteading. Yes, I know. And you think this has angered the Indians, and that's why they're showing their displeasure by harassing the homesteaders? Give me a better reason. At least they didn't kill off my horses. They didn't kill you either, Tom. You know, if Chief Gray Eagle's people are as vengeful as you say they are, don't you think it's strange that they let you live? Oh, well, maybe they figured they'd kill me with their last shot. Maybe. Well, no sense in me staying here brooding about it. I better be heading on toward town. And thanks for everything. You think you can handle the buckboard all right? Absolutely. Good. Well, Tom, I'll be moving along. I'm meeting a friend of mine. I intend to look into this matter thoroughly. You do that, mister, and you'll find out everything I've been telling you is the straight goods. Adios.
you soft talk me, Sheriff. Pender, I mean it. Why, look what happened to Tom here. It's a wonder he escaped with his hide. Now, look here. I'm just as sorry as you, Regis, that things like this got to occur. But consider the size of the territory I'm expected to police. And single-handed, too. I can't be every place at once now, can I? You could deputize men and arrest those savages. Which savages? What do you mean? I mean, could you identify any of them personal? The ones who attacked you? Well, they were just engines, you know. They all look alike to me. There, you see. Now, you couldn't expect me to go out and corral every daggone redskin in the district and put them under lock and key, could you? We're faced with a mighty ticklish situation. Being wards of the government, those engines come under federal jurisdiction. And unless they break a civil law, I can't touch them. But they have broken a civil law. They've attacked us, haven't they? Got proof? I mean the kind of proof that'll stand up in court. You mean my word's not enough? Nope. It's yours against theirs. And in the eyes of the law, an Indian's word is every bit as good as any white man's. Now, you admitted yourself that you couldn't rightly identify him. What'd I tell you? It's no good coming to him. It's up to us. Now, look here, Garth. Hey, I listen to me, Sheriff. Any Indian polecat caught snooping around Pine Valley better look to his scalp. Come on, fellas. Now, don't you boys go start an open ruckus with any of them engines. The federal government might take away your land grant. You think they might do that, Regis? Take away our land? Certainly not. We're in the right, aren't we? We're just protecting our homes. Howdy. All right. How's everything down Pine Valley way? Could be a heap sight better, Mr. Slate. We're up to our necks and engines. They're still pestering you people, huh? That's a downright shame. You know, Regis, I, I sincerely wish there was something I could do to help. Well, it's sure mighty kind of you, Mr. Slate. Most ranchers hereabouts resent us homesteaders for moving in and taking over property that they could have used for grazing purposes. You know, Regis, the way I feel about it is everybody's got a right to live. Mr. Slate, that's just what I've been telling Regis. And I reckon I finally persuaded him in seeing things my way. Good, I'm glad to hear it. Well, I guess we better be heading back to the valley. So long, Mr. Slate. So long. So long. So long. You know, Reno, everything's working out just the way I figured it would. In no time at all, those homesteaders and the engines will just naturally cancel each other out. <laughs> Get up here! Scout, you plenty thirsty. Hold it, engine. Keep your hands at your sides and don't try anything. Me not Shut up, engine. When he talk from you, we'll say so. Looks like we bagged ourselves a redskin. Let's truss him up and turn him over to the sheriff. What? Let the sheriff turn him loose again for lack of evidence? Uh-uh. Well, what are you suggesting? A long piece of rope. String him up? Yep. We're going to give those Indians a taste of homesteaders' vengeance. We're going to hang him from the highest tree as a warning to his whole black-hearted tribe. Here, keep him covered while I get a piece of rope. I don't know, Regis. It doesn't seem right somehow. I'm not saying I condone lynching, Tom. I don't. But in this case, I agree with Garth. If we don't take a stand now, we won't have a place to stand on. But to hang him in cold blood, we don't even know that he's done anything wrong. This is the West, Tom. Our ways are hard. They have to be if we're to survive. This engine is trespassing on private property. Me only come to water, horse. You think I'm taking the word of an engine? For all we know, you came here to loot and burn this house. Drop your guns. You're covered. What? The mask man. I said drop your guns. I don't want to have to shoot anyone. Third man gone to look for rope, Kimis Abbey. He'll be back soon. Keep your eye out for him, tell him. Collect their guns. I sure had you pegged wrong, mister. I figured you for a friend while all the time you're in cahoots with the engines. I'm not in cahoots with anyone. Tom, I told you I'm on the side of justice. Lynch law isn't justice. Why should you want to hang him anyway? Well, he's an engine, isn't he? For that reason, you'd take his life just because of the color of his skin? Kimisabi! Oh! Move over there. All of you, turn around, not move. You hurt bad, Kimisabi? It hurts my leg, Tano. We'd better get back to camp. You ride with me on scout. The silver follow. Keep them covered while I try and get mounted. Plenty bad, Kimisabi. It'd be weak maybe before you were able to ride again. A week? Well, I just can't lie here. Uh, but you have no choice, Kimisabi. Tell her the situation in Pine Valley is critical. If the homesteaders get their hands on another Indian, it could touch off a small scale war. Me know tribe of Chief Grey Eagle well. Me not believe them do these things. Well, I agree, Tonham. But who else besides Grey Eagle would have a motive for attacking the settlers? Me not know that, but me find out. As brother Indian at my duty, 
We have to prove my people innocent. Oh, Tano, perhaps it was a band of renegades. That would explain why the horses were shot. Uh, that's not much to go on, Kimasevi. Wait a minute. When I examined the tracks of the horsemen who attacked Tom Levering, I noticed that one of the horses had a broken shoe on his right hind leg. And uh, we find that horse. Well, I came mighty close to doing just that. You see, when I was riding back here to wait for you, I came across the trail of the horse with a broken shoe. I decided to follow the trail. It led directly to the outskirts of the homesteaders' colony. And that's when I interrupted the lynching. Situation plenty bad, Kimisami. It's bad for my brothers and bad for settlers. Me to go now to tribe of Chief Grey Eagle. Indians not use shoes on horses. Even so, me examine horses of all tribe. Good hunting, Tano. You have seen the horses of my braves. Is it not as Grey Eagle said it would be? It is as Grey Eagle said it would be. There were no shoes among them. Has Tonto lived so long among the pale face that he has abandoned his tribal allegiance? Tonto is still an Indian. My only interest is to protect my people. The people of Grey Eagle ask nothing more than to live in peace with their pale face cousins. The pale face wish only to live in peace with the people of Grey Eagle. It is a strange way to show that peace. Twice now, while hunting, braves of this tribe have been set upon by bands of pale face and flogged. It is because them think the people of Grey Eagle are guilty. It is a tale well told among the pale face. Those who have told it speak with a crooked tongue. Then let Grey Eagle offer proof against the lies. The innocent brave need not defend his name. Let the accuser offer proof. From now on, warriors of my tribe shall carry rifles with which to protect themselves. Grey Eagle knows this could lead to war. If the Lone Ranger gave his word as bond, would Grey Eagle agree to keep the peace until there is time to investigate this situation? The honor of the Lone Ranger is great, and great is his legend. He shall deal fairly with the tribe of Grey Eagle. Very well. It is agreed. Until the coming of the new moon, I shall wait. The new moon? But that is only one day. One day only. Let the Lone Ranger find the path to an honorable peace in so much time. Grey Eagle has spoken. You say Grey Eagle's given us one day. Tano, I don't see how we can expose the real crooks in a day. Uh, one chance, Kimisami. It's plenty slim, but... But what? You say you track hook prints to Homesteader's settlement. That's right. Me think it's a good idea to ride over there and have a look at Homesteader's horses. Tano, that would be running too big of a risk. Don't forget, if you're caught, there'll be no one to help you. Chance may have to take him, is any. Be careful.
first one here, Reno? Yep. Get your hands up, Injun. Stand up. These things have been known to go off. Come on. Who's your friend, Garth? He's no friend of mine. That's the engine I was telling you about. You don't say. Who's your mass friend, Injun? What does he want? Won't talk, huh? All right, Reno, tie him up. My bother. I'll put a stop. No, you stop nothing. You heard me, Reno. Get her open. Tie him up. Did it ever occur to you I might not want him dead? I might have other plans for him. What do you mean? I've decided it's time we apply the big squeeze. The iron's hot. We'll hit him tonight. Drive those homesteaders clean out of the valley. Yeah, I'm for that. And tonight when it's dark, we'll all swoop down, dressed up like engines. We'll set fire to every field and cabin in Pine Valley. I still don't get it, Bo. How do you figure him in? Oh, he's going to be riding right with us. Right at the head of the pack. He is? Yes. The sheriff wanted proof, didn't he? Well, after we pull away from that raid tonight, there's going to be a 100% bona fide engine corpse lying in the front of Regis Bassett's doorstep. All right, come on, Reno, let's get moving. Hey, what about me? You stay here and stand guard over our friend. Reno and I have got to pick up the other fellas. We'll meet you back here at 9 o'clock tonight, in the thicket. Where's your horse? I left it back there when I saw this engine snooping around. What if somebody should show up? You got a gun, ain't you? Well, use it! I guess you know your goose is cooked for sure this time, Injun. <laughs> If you're looking for somebody to save your high, you can forget it. I'm ready for him. You cut that out. You try that again and I'm gonna... You what? Boss say him want me alive, remember? I got ears. But the boss didn't say anything about me mussing you up a little bit. You're not bluffing me. Those are birds. Yeah, that's what they are. They're birds. I'll teach you to play tricks on me, Injun. I'm going to give you a working over like you've never had before. That's right. That's all they were, just birds. Just birds. So after me, get away, me tie this man and bring him here to you. And you claim they're fixing to attack the homesteaders tonight? Ah, as soon as it get dark. He's lying on his teeth. The idea of accusing Bo Slade of conspiring against the settlers, why, it's ridiculous. For a homesteader, Garth, you're taking an outsized interest in the welfare of a rancher. Well, I, I just want to see justice done, that's all. So do I. Justice is my job. You mean you take his word against mine? Maybe this convince you that me tell too. Silver bullet. Where'd you get this, Injun? From my friend. Yeah? What does this friend of yours look like? Him wear mask. Ride white horse called Silver. Then you must be Tonto. Ah. Uh. Well, where is the masked man? Why didn't he come with you? Because him shot. Him laid up with bad wound. Shot? By him. He had no business interfering in matters that don't concern him. That's where you're wrong, Garth. I've heard of this masked man, and investigating dishonesty and injustice is his business. Come on. What are you doing? A few hours in the pokey never did a man any harm. Let's go, Injun. I want to have a talk with this masked friend of yours. We're faced with a mighty critical situation and not much time to do anything about it. Then we'd better get started now. No, Kimasabi, you not get up. I have to tell him. Too many lives are at stake. But if you start wound bleeding again... He's right. I'll have to risk it, Sheriff. It'll be dark soon. If we're going to prevent a massacre, it's going to take all our efforts. He should have been here a long time ago. Oh, the rest of the fellows will be wondering what's wrong. Didn't you tell them to hold off attacking from the other side of the valley until we get started over here? Yeah, I told them, but we ain't got much time left. The moon will be up soon. And the job we've got to do will be done best if it's dark. Here they come now. 
Listen to me. The gang's gonna ride from the north as soon as we start the first fire. So come on, let's ride. You not ride anywhere, mister. Drop guns. It's a trick. I'd stop right there if I were you. Now move out. By this ceremony, ancient custom of my people, you are now brother to Grey Eagle and all his children. Let there be everlasting peace. And now in the custom of my people. Kimisabe, it's good thing sheriff deputized homesteaders. Me plenty glad them capture rest of Slate gang. So am I, Tonto. You know, it would be a tragic shame if men like Bo Slate, with greed as their only motive, were able to destroy the trust and friendship between our peoples. Well, Tonto and I must be riding on. Adios. Oh, wait, mister. Do not try to detain him. He and Tonto have many important things to do. We sure owe them a debt of gratitude. Imagine being willing to risk their lives for us simply for the sake of seeing justice done. I wonder who the masked man is. The masked man is the brother to every law-abiding man, whatever his race or color. He is the lone ranger. I am still, uh, hey!